Hello and welcome to this week's portrait painting demonstration. So this week we're going to be focusing on Alla Prima portrait painting, that is creating a painting in one sitting. The block-in is the first of three stages that I'll be covering in this video. The other two stages will be the color pass and the form pass. Just a reminder, so whenever you're attempting to start an Alla Prima portrait, it's important to have some background in portrait painting that isn't Alla Prima. That is, you've spent your time drawing, painting, shading, and studying anatomical structures. That is because when you're painting Alla Prima, you're really fighting against the clock. You're trying to get the most vital information possible in the shortest amount of time. And for those of you that are new to painting and drawing, I'd recommend buying a pack of soft fine charcoal and doing portrait drawings in just light and shade and studying the complexities of the shapes of the human head. These studies will help you as you progress into blocking in and oil paint as I'm doing here. So in this stage of my block-in, I'm trying to establish my outside shape of the head and the outside shape of the hair, and I'm trying to work the big shapes in relation to each other. So that is, I've made a huge mark for where the axis of the eyes and the tear ducts will be placed, and I'm starting to outline the anatomical structure of the tear duct. In the first five minutes or so, I want to get an understanding of the big picture, the outside shape of the head, and the placement of the axis of the eyes and the nose. Those are the bits of information that will help me the most as I progress in this painting. To start to work the shapes inside of the face, I will be using um, indicators that I like to call stand-ins. So I'll have a stand-in for the eyes, stand-in for the nose, and a stand-in for the mouth. So what a stand-in is, is it's a simple shape that is to hint at the actual placement of the nose and the eyes. And once I have them roughly in place, I'll start to draw in smaller shapes. As you can see, I'm starting to draw in the mass of the iris for the eyes. Once I have all my stand-ins in place, I want to relate them to each other. So I'm relating the distances from the two eyes to the nose, the nose to the eyes, and the nose to the mouth, and so on and so forth. I'm relating these shapes together and knowing that I'm going to get them wrong at first and pushing them around isn't that difficult because the shapes are so simple. So once I get my stand-ins at roughly a centimeter or so of the true proportions, I'll be able to get into the more advanced stages, such as the color pass. So the goal of the color pass is to cover the canvas completely with color or with paint. That is, I want to have flesh color, hair color, background color. Before I put any colors down on the canvas, I like to have some color relationships or some color notes down as well as value references on my palette. So I'm mixing a gradation of dark skin tones to lighter skin tones and I'm changing the temperature of these skin colors as I go from light to dark. 
Um, but this is only a rough indication. It's not something that I'll be taking directly. I've, I've stated in many videos before. I'd like to have some color comparisons on my palette before I put them on the canvas. So typically on the right side of my palette are the lighter colors and the left side are the darker colors but I've also gotten into the habit of putting my warmer colors at the top of the palette and my cooler colors at the bottom. As you can see I'm starting to mix up a, uh, a slightly blue, green, purple, grayish value scale right next to the flesh colors that I had just mixed. In Alla Prima portrait painting, each pass that you're putting on your canvas should be in theory developing the drawing. That is, for the block in, I got my drawing relatively close. I mean, it's not perfect, but I got it close enough to work with such that when I start to put in my colors, I'm able to make these drawing corrections and refine the drawing. Alla Prima portrait painting is a, it's a very physical thing. It's a process that it, it takes a lot of, it takes a lot out of you, but in a good way. I mean, I find Alla Prima portrait painting to be the most fun type of painting that I've, I've ever done. You're really seeing your portrait painting come to life in front of you in a very short amount of time. So having a threefold process that is block in, color pass, form pass, uh, it really helps, at least it helps me simplify the great complexities in painting a portrait in one sitting. I find this especially useful for when you're working from a live model. That is a model that has to take breaks every 15 or 20 minutes, it's it's good to have a process to really divide your time so the first two 20 minute sittings you could be doing the block in, the other 20 minute sittings you'll be doing the color pass, and then you'll have the rest of the time to finish in the form pass. So at this stage in my color pass, I'm going to be filling in the darker lights that is so I can build up the light from the darkest values to the lightest values. Uh, but my primary goal is to fill in all of the blank canvas. So although I'm putting some indications of form in, my main purpose is just to fill the canvas with color. I'd also like to note for my color pass for the um, face, I usually try to work a little bit warmer and darker. That is because when I get into the form pass, I'm going to be using a lot more white in my mixtures, and white itself is a coolant. So I don't want my portrait to get too cold right away, so that's why my first color pass is usually a little bit warmer. in the video I mentioned that I wanted to have my color pass have some indications of form 
and I'm about to clarify what I meant by that. So, what I meant was I want my color pass so to have at least, or at most, three values. So, I have my light, my middle light, and my dark light. You can see the red there would be my middle light, and the values getting closer to the shadow being the dark lights. Uh, but I only want these to be indications, that is, I don't want to paint them down as if that's my last brush stroke. They're more just loose at this point, just loose indications. So again, the purpose of the color pass was to fill in the areas of the canvas that you're going to be working with, with color, and slightly indicating the forms. So now let's get into the form pass. So the block-in and the color pass were stages of painting that I'd consider to be more optical, and the form pass is what I'd consider to be more conceptual. So what I mean by optical is that we were making big comparisons using just our eyesight and our knowledge of perspective of where objects were to be placed and with the color pass we were making large color relationships purely based on sight. So as I mentioned before, each pass that you put on your painting in an Alla Prima portrait painting should in theory, refine your drawing. So I'm going back and I'm redrawing where the eyebrows are going and where the eyes are to be placed. So in Alla Prima portrait painting, the form pass is actually the pass where I would use the most paint so at this stage I'd be caking on the paint because not only does it look nice it's just fun it's fun to use lots of paint and sculpt out these forms and build these color relationships in order to create a more satisfying image So in reference to the conceptual aspects of the form pass, what I'm doing is I'm thinking of the areas that are turning furthest away from the light as being darker and the areas that are turning closer to the light are lighter. So I'm using these concepts in my head, I'm keeping them in my head but at the same time I'm applying sort of a filter in my head of the concepts that I know about form and what I'm seeing in front of me.
So when I'm in the form pass of an Ala Prima painting, at this stage I'd be taking probably 15 to 20 minutes on each feature or each side of the face. So think about if you're working from the live model, you have 15 or 20 minute sittings. So when you're in the form pass, just spend the 20 minutes sitting on the eyes, the other 20 minutes sitting on the nose, and then the following 20 minutes sitting on the mouth. Really take your time with these structures. Just know that if you ran out of time and all you had was the color pass, that's okay. Lots of beautiful paintings have just two or three values and they're remarkable. Like Think about a sunset. Think about a Monet sunset. There's barely any form in it, yet it's still very pleasing to the eye. Or think about a John Singer Sargent painting. Just walk up close to it and you'll see that there's hardly anything to it. But you back up and it all comes together. To have that kind of effect you really have to have a good understanding of the big shapes and the big colors. More importantly, whenever you're painting, just push yourself, do something that you wouldn't normally do, and see what happens. Especially if it's not a commissioned painting, what do you have to lose? My philosophy is I'd rather learn something in a painting rather than create a beautiful painting. I'll sacrifice a painting if it would teach me something. To me, the most important thing is to progress. I'd like to learn new things. Be aware that it's a natural human tendency to get overly complicated incredibly soon. So keeping your painting at a, at a very simple state is actually very counterintuitive to what we would think. Even at the form pass, which is the final pass of my Alla Prima painting process, I'm not even considering things like like uh, eyelashes, nostril, hairs, freckles, or pimples. Rather, I'm thinking, what are the structures doing of the lips? Like, what is the center line in relation to that filtrum? What is the curvature of the lips? So I'm not thinking detail, not even the slightest bit. I'm thinking structure. And even when you're at this stage and you're rendering lips and you're turning eyelids and you're creating the folds of the nostril, the wing of the nostril, make sure to stand back. Don't lean too forward onto your canvas because you'll spend all your time looking 12 inches away from your canvas when you should really be looking 12 feet away because that's the distance that people are really going to be looking at your painting.
On a side note, whenever you're drawing or painting a model with glasses, people usually tell you to put the glasses on at the end. But that wasn't the case for this painting, and it's usually not the case for me. I usually make indications of the glasses early on, and as I keep drawing or painting, the glasses will disappear and reappear. But in the final stages of the painting, I already have created an idea of where the glasses need to fit in space. And that's what makes it easier for me to place them at the end. So what did we do here? So we subdivided Alla Prima portrait painting into three stages, the block-in, the color pass, and the form pass. And we did this so that we could simplify the forms and make big statements rather simply. Thanks for watching this week's portrait painting demonstration and stay tuned for more weekly videos.